The Royal Navy's next-generation air defense platform, the Type 83 Mega Destroyer, is a 10,000-ton, 180-meter-long behemoth similar to the American-built Ticonderoga class. The new ships, scheduled to be deployed in the late 2030s, will replace the existing Type 45 class destroyers and introduce a range of new capabilities with the ships including ballistic and hypersonic missile defenses and laser-directed energy weapons. It will be at the heart of the future Air Dominance System program, currently in its pre-concept phase that will network a range of systems to create an air defense umbrella under which UK military can operate. The future air dominance system will integrate with existing UK defense assets or programs in development including land and space systems, F-35 fighter jets, the UK Future Maritime Aviation Force, and the UK Future Combat Air System. The effectors at the sharp end will primarily be missiles but may encompass new technologies such as directed energy weapons and uncrewed systems. The Type 83 will be equipped with the US Mark 41 vertical launch system, a capability being incorporated into the upcoming Type 31 and Type 26 frigates due to enter service this decade. The Mark 41 vertical launch system is able to accommodate a range of short, medium, and long-range surface-to-air missiles, such as Raytheon's SM-3 and SM-6. The total number of Mark 41 launcher cells the Type 83 may have is still unknown. The large Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers operated by the U.S. Navy point to what kind of loadout a Type 83 of similar size could have, with the Ticonderogas featuring 122 Mark 41 launch cells. In addition, Maritime Strike, Tomahawk cruise missile, will also be able to be fired from the Mark 41, providing a capable anti-surface warfare capability, or the joint UK-French Future Cruise Anti-Ship Warfare Cruise Missile, derived from MBDA's Storm Shadow Scalp system. However, additional anti-surface munitions could be required, so it is likely that the Type 83 may also feature canister-launched missiles such as the Naval Strike Missile from Kongsberg. It is almost certain that the Type 83 will also take advantage of directed energy weapon systems, such as the Dragonfire High Energy Laser currently being developed by the UK, with trials of the platform expected to begin in the naval domain by 2027. The Type 83s will also certainly feature Phalanx close-in weapon system, and numerous small arms from 7.62mm up to .50 caliber machine guns. In terms of naval gunfire support, every main surface combatant of the Royal Navy has featured a main gun system, since the Icara and Exocet variants of the Leander frigate in the 1960s. Given this, a main gun system such as the BAE system's Mark 45, 5-inch 62 caliber weapons could be equipped. Due to the increased threat of small and medium-sized drones and proliferation of anti-ship missiles into countries, it is also likely that the Type 83 will equip additional secondary weapons systems, including perhaps the 40mm Bofors being fitted to the Type 31 frigates, offering cost-effective target engagement. The Type 83 will be conventionally propelled, with nuclear power being kept only for the Royal Navy Hunter Killer and Ballistic Missile Submarines. Rolls-Royce's MT-30 gas turbines would be a strong option, coupled with MTU diesel engines, in a similar combined diesel-electric and gas configuration being introduced into the Type 26 anti-submarine frigates. Such propulsion may or may not be rafted in order to reduce acoustic noise, as the class will not be operated as anti-submarine warfare platforms, and likely used mainly in conjunction with the periodic Queen Elizabeth-class carrier strike groups, 
which feature a future full-spectrum defense capability with the Type 26 and Type 31 frigates and astute-class hunter-killers. In order to generate as complete an air picture as possible, the main air search radars will be situated high up, likely in an integrated mass design, which have become increasingly common in modern warships. This could also see the first use of a UK Aegis combat system from the United States, potentially with radar such as the AN Spy 6 Active Electronically Scanning Array Radar, as being fitted to the US Navy's Arleigh Burke Flight 3 destroyers. The AN Spy 6 radar can simultaneously detect and counter threats in the air and on the sea. The UK has for decades replaced more numerous platforms with fewer, more capable systems, a process of gold plating that theoretically provides exquisite capability. In the UK's defense in a competitive age document, published in March 2021, mentions of a Type 83 platform that would replace the Type 45 air defense destroyer proliferated under a 2030 vision that would have a shipbuilding enterprise at the forefront of technological and environmental innovations. The document called for a concept and assessment phase for UK new Type 83 destroyer which would begin to replace the Type 45 destroyers from the late 2030s. According to data from the previous UK government released in January 2024, the final Type 45 destroyer would leave service by the end of 2038, meaning the Royal Navy could see its air defense capability dwindle as earlier Type 45s are decommissioned ahead of the early build Type 83s. Keeping to the modern era, the Royal Navy has seen its air warfare destroyer force reduce, with the prospect that Type 83 fleet could dip further, perhaps to three or four hulls. However, in order to accommodate an expected wide range of weapons and required power generation, the Type 83 class could displace up to 10,000 tons each, perhaps reaching a length of 170 to 180 meters, compared to the Type 45 length of 152 meters. <laughs>